Children, how do you open or close the door? You need to push and pull the door to open or close it, right? You also need to apply force and energy to do this. In our day-to-day -day life, we need to apply force and energy in any kind of works. So, we will learn more about force, work, and energy today. Class 4 Science What is a force? A push or pull acting on an object is called force. We can move objects or change their shape by applying force. For example, if you squeeze a plastic bottle, it changes the shape of the bottle. When you play with clay, you apply force to mold it. Even this changes the shape of the clay. Are these people pushing or pulling? Write the correct answer under each image. Types of forces Force may cause an object to stop or start to change its position or direction of motion to increase or decrease its speed or, to change the shape of the object. In nature, there are two types of forces, those are acting all the time, namely, gravity and friction. Gravity What happens when we throw a ball up into the air? It first rises up, then seems to stop, and then falls to the ground. Why does it fall down? Why doesn't it keep going upwards? This is because of the force of gravity. The force that pulls objects downwards, towards the center of the earth, is called gravity. When you throw a ball up, you throw it with a lot of force. More than the force of gravity. So it rises. As the ball moves up. It loses this force, and then gravity pulls it down. Similarly, leaves and ripe fruits always fall on the ground, due to the force of gravity, unless they are plucked. Did you know? Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician, physicist, and astronomer, who played a major role in the scientific revolution in the 17th century. He promoted the idea that the Earth pulls every object towards itself, and gave the world the theory of gravitation. Friction When a bottle top is pushed across a table, it stops after moving a certain distance. It stops because of friction. The force that is present, when two objects are in contact with each other, and opposes the motion of one object, across another, is called friction. One more example is, playing carom. When we push the dice on the carom board, it stops after moving some distance. As a result, the moving object either slows down, or stops moving. If there's no friction, anything that starts moving will never stop. So, the force of friction is essential. However, if there's too much friction, Nothing will move. In general, materials with a smooth surface, for example, glass, or ice, cause less friction than materials with rough surfaces, such as carpet. Work Work is used to describe a lot of activities in everyday life. In science, however, the word work has a very specific meaning. Work is said to be done only when the force applied on an object causes it to move through a distance, in the direction of the force. However, work is also said to be done, when the force applied to the object, causes a change in the shape, or size of the object. 
when you kick a football, you are applying force that causes it to move. This is considered a work because force is being applied to the football, to make it move. Activities such as reading, sleeping, and thinking, are not considered as work in science. This is because no force is being applied in these cases, and no object is being moved. Machines When a task is difficult to do with our hands, we use tools called machines. A simple machine is a tool that makes our task easier and faster, with the use of less force. Lever a lever is a simple machine, that is made up of a rod resting, at a point around which, it turns. It is used to lift, or move heavy weights, cut things, or open the lid of a tin. A pair of scissors is an example of a lever. When we use a spoon handle, to open the lid of a tin, the spoon acts as a lever. Pulley a pulley is a simple machine, that has a grooved wheel, and a rope, running between the grooves of the wheel. It is used to lift heavy objects, attached to one end of the rope. Drawing water from a well, with the help of a pulley, is an example. Wheel, and Axle Can you think of things that have wheels? Almost all the vehicles have wheels. These wheels have a rod connected to them. This rod is called the axle. The axle moves the wheel. Moving heavy objects becomes easier, with the help of a wheel, and axle. Inclined plane An inclined plane is a sloping surface, that is used to push, or pull, heavy objects to a certain height. A simple smooth board placed at an angle can be used as an inclined plane. You must have seen heavy cartons being loaded onto a truck, by pushing them up an inclined board. Screw and wedges, are two types of inclined planes. Screws A screw is actually an inclined plane. Thread, wrapped around a cylinder that has a sharp pointed end. Screws are turned with the help of a screwdriver. As they rotate, they also move forward. So, they help to attach things to each other. Wedge A wedge has at least one inclined plane, ending in a sharp edge. This sharp edge helps to cut things. A good example is an axe, with which we cut wood energy and its sources energy is the ability to do work we need the energy to do everything right from basic activities such as walking reading and talking to difficult tasks such as lifting carrying and climbing energy exists in various forms such as chemical mechanical heat light electrical magnetic and sound energy can change from one form to another sources of energy sun the main source of all energy on the earth is the sun the energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy plants use solar energy to make food with the help of their leaves. Food has energy stored in chemical form. We get heat and light energy from the sun. Solar energy can also be used to generate electricity. Water Moving water also has a lot of energy in it. This energy is called hydro energy. To use this energy, we build dams. These dams allow the water to fall from a height, onto turbines, with great force. Then turbines move, and help to produce electrical energy. Wind Moving air is called wind. 
any object that is moving has energy in it. The energy of wind, called wind energy, can turn windmills, which in turn can move turbines. The movement of turbines helps to produce electrical energy. Summary There are two types of forces in nature. Gravity and friction. Machines make our work easier. There are different types of simple machines, such as a lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw, and wedges. Energy exists in various forms, chemical, mechanical, heat, light, magnetic, and sound. Some natural sources of energy are the sun, wind, and water. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.